Here are the results of the distribution of Earth's water lab. In class today, we started with 1,000 milliliters of water. We put 970 milliliters of water in the one liter bottle and 30 milliliters of, of water in the graduated cylinder. What you ended up with is 97% of Earth's water being salt water, which is represented in the two liter bottle, and the 3% of all of Earth's water that exists that is fresh water. We then took the fresh water and broke it down to how it is distributed on the Earth. We ended up with 24 milliliters, which equals about 76% of all of Earth's fresh water, and we added ice. And this represents the glaciers and icebergs on Earth that are frozen. We had six milliliters left in which we will use to represent all groundwater and we added a drop of soil. Some of this water, the shallow groundwater, is available for humans to easily access, whereas the deep groundwater we are not really able to use. Finally, we took one drop of our water, and that represents all the lakes, rivers, streams, ponds, and even water vapor that is in our air. This is approximately what we are able to use for humans, as well as some of the shallow groundwater.